Waverly, where Leland Statham joins us this morning. Yeah, good morning. I'm here with Storm 5 Titan. Sky 5 Live is actually overhead as well. Joining me right now is uh, Kenny Rochelle, a McEwing resident. And when things started to go bad, he jumped into action to help neighbors. So tell me what happened on Saturday morning. My son got information that his boss and his wife and eight-year-old son was possibly getting swept away. So we jumped in the car and run down toward their house. And luckily a guy come with a flat bottom boat and my son got in with him and they got them all off the roof. It, 10 more minutes, they probably wouldn't have made it. Wow, so your family and friends are safe right now. You're not working because you said it's hard to work. So you're actually going to try to help with the rescue operation today. Yes, I got up this morning about 430, got prepared. I just can't lay in the bed when there's people losing family. Mm -hmm. I just can't do it. So we need to get them some resolution, you know, get their families back home. So I'm going to hunt all day if it's what it takes. And I'm sure there's probably hundreds more people we are doing the same thing. And talk about how high the water was in this area here. It was like trying to walk across Duck River. It was extremely high. There was nothing that couldn't been took away. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it. I'm 58 year old and it's, this is something I've never seen. I've seen tornadoes do damage and it's about the same as that. Wow. Kenny, thank you very much. We appreciate you talking to us and thank you for helping your friends in need. He actually went out and bought a couple of generators to help those who may need electricity because still a lot don't have it. Take a look at this graphic to talk about how the impact of this weekend. From the McEwen Ray Gauge from the Tennessee Valley Authority, they picked up over 17 inches of rain. Now look in that 1 to 6 a.m. time frame where they picked up over 12 inches of rain. And then if you extend that out from 1 a.m. to 10 a.m., over 14 inches of rain. And that's in a short amount of time. There was about a three to four hour period where nine inches of rain fell. And so Nikki D, that much rain in such a short amount of time, this Trace Creek, which is very tranquil this morning, just became a raging river over the weekend like many other creeks in this area.